it's Friday, time for a history update. Uh, clearly I'm not on campus today. I'm up in Indianapolis. I'm about a quarter mile north of the IUPUI campus. Uh, and as you can see by the sign behind me, it says I am at Ensign Graham Edward Martin Park. And I'll talk about who he was and, and my problem with that sign uh, here in just a second. Uh, but I want to jump ahead, I want to do this in chronological order, and he's actually going to be the third person that I get to. But I want to start with some little known history about IU and racial integration in the military. Uh, so the first African American officers in the U.S. Army uh, were selected in World War I, and they went to uh, uh, Camp Des Moines in Iowa. They had about 600 folks that were selected for the first camp, and they had several several more officer camps after that. And one of the folks that was in that very first camp that we had was this guy, Elder Watson Diggs. Now, if you're familiar with Kappa Alpha Psi history, you probably know who Elder Watson Diggs is already, uh, but he was an IU student uh, who had helped found that organization. He went and served in the Army uh, during World War I, then later came back and got his degree from IU, uh, and then went on to be a teacher in Indianapolis, uh, as well as a number of other things uh, over the years. So the very first class of commissioned black officers in the Army, uh, we had an IU alum in that. So now flash forward to World War II and the time comes for the Army Air Corps to start allowing African Americans to be officers. Uh, a program that started at Tuskegee, you probably know it as the Tuskegee Airmen. The very first class of officers that were commissioned out of the Tuskegee Airmen, the number two person in the class who would later go on to be the commander of a uh, fighter squadron throughout World War II was Charles Debo. And Charles Debo uh, was a IU uh, student who left to, uh, to go to flight school and learn how to fly and then later uh, wound up in the Army Air Corps during the war. And so there were only five officers in that class and he was one of them. And then thirdly, the last person to talk about is Graham Martin. And so Graham Martin had come to IU and gotten a bachelor's degree in 1941. Uh, he would later go on to get a master's degree from IU. He was from right here in Indianapolis. And he would uh, he joined the Navy during World War II when he got his Army draft notice because he didn't want to serve in the Army because he thought it was too dirty, he didn't want to spend time in the mud, so he thought he'd join the Navy. They selected him for an officer training program, and they chose in 13 officers commissioned out of that program. They're known as the Golden 13. 12 of them were commissioned officers, uh, including Martin, and one was a, a warrant officer. Uh, and so here's the picture of Graham Martin uh, when he commissioned. And so there were only 13 in that. There were five in the Air Force, and there were 600 in that Army class. The Marine Corps just chose one, and they didn't have like a whole class thing. So out of the three branches of service that first commissioned uh, classes of African-American officers, IU had somebody in each of those first classes. And as near as I can tell, and I haven't quite done all the research on this yet, uh, I'd love for somebody to take this on as a project. I think we're the only historically white institution that's represented in all three of those. Now, back to the sign and why I have a problem with it. So it says Ensign Graham Martin on here. Uh, and, and everything else I've read, even the, on the map, this is referred to as Lieutenant J.G. Graham E. Martin Park. So a lot of people confuse Navy ranks and Ensign, that's an 01, that's the, the gold bar. And a Lieutenant JG is a, uh, the equivalent of a first Lieutenant uh, in the other branches of service. And that is the silver bar right below full Lieutenant, which is a captain in most of the, in the other branches of service. So I think there's some confusion over what his rank was. He was commissioned as an ensign, but he served throughout the war, got promoted to Lieutenant JG. At one point, he was even uh, commander of a small uh, craft. Uh, so I should talk to somebody about getting that fixed, probably. But, you know, historians, what do we know? Anyway, so there's your update for today. Uh, you know, it's interesting to see this little piece of IU history and how it's sort of played out and been forgotten over time. Uh, but throughout the rest of the month, I'm going to bring you more about the connections between racial integration of the military and IU history because there's a whole bunch out there. And we're going to lean forward into next month. We're going to talk about women and their role uh, in the military and, and IU history. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll see you then.